Wow. Hello YouTube Sweet. and uh, this is Pigeon Empire again bringing you another video and uh, this is something important that uh, you need to keep in mind when keeping pigeons is that the Newcastle disease and it's a deadly disease so I'm gonna briefly explain what Newcastle disease is what are the symptoms the treatment basically and uh, how to go about it so Newcastle disease is a contagious bird disease affecting many domestic and wild avian species it's transmittable to humans and it was first defined in Java, Indonesia in 1926 and in 1927 in Newcastle. That's where it got its name, from England, Newcastle, because part of it started there. So, however, it's 1898 when the disease wiped out all the domestic fowl in uh, northwest Scotland. So, this disease basically, as you can see, my bird has the same problem. It has a Newcastle disease and uh, it's noticeable because it's like it strains its body. As you can see this, it's moving its neck weirdly and uh, those are the main symptoms and uh, you have to be very careful because once you notice it, you have to remove the bird from the loft otherwise you'll affect all the other pigeons through the droppings, drinking the water because all of them drink from one drinker and it's highly dangerous disease. It will kill all your birds and it's very contagious so I would recommend you guys to spend time with your birds check each and every one of them and uh, take care of them so the critical signs are as follows signs of infection with uh, Newcastle disease very greatly depending on factors such as strain of the virus and the health age and species of the host the incubation period for the disease ranges from 2 to 15 days and infected bird may exhibit several signs including respiratory signs gasping coughing nervous signs depression muscular tremors dropping wings twisting of the head and neck suckling and complete paralysis as like i explained you will see the bird moving around it will be really scared and it won't be able to fly too as you can see my bird is right open and it can't fly because it contains the disease and uh, i removed it from the rest of the flock one more thing to say is that it's so sad that this disease has no cure so all you have to do is be patient and uh, keep it separate from all your birds or else it will affect all your birds as you can see how weirdly my pigeon is acting others say that it's, it's, it's a demonic disease but those are all myths so let me briefly explain how the transmission is Newcastle disease is a spread primarily through direct contact between healthy birds and uh, the bodily discharge of infected birds this disease is transmitted through infected birds droppings and uh, secretions from the nose mouth and uh, eyes as I said when they drink water they put their beaks in the, in the drinker and other birds come and drink from the same drinker it will affect the other birds with the virus castle disease spreads rapidly among birds kept in confinement such as commercial raised chickens so let me get this straight this disease doesn't work on uh, it doesn't it's not only for pigeons it's all for all poultry birds and it's really deadly so the moment you see this disease occur just remove the pigeon on the spot from the loft and uh, in case just take a precaution take the drinker get rid of that water clear with some disinfectant with hot water sanitize the drinker take the feeder to do the same thing sanitize it get rid of all that food cause it might be infected and uh, watch for other birds any signs on other birds get rid of the other birds too. keep them separate do not keep them together otherwise the, the disease will spread the prevention vaccines are available for chickens turkeys and pigeons and are used to in induce antibody response so vaccinated birds may be exposed to a larger dose of the Newcastle disease to be infected so what this means is that once the birds are vaccinated it's not easy for them to get the disease unless there's too much contact of the virus with the bird that's when it will spread rapidly and it will infect the bird or else if there's minor contact nothing will affect so you don't have to worry about that the vaccines are there but still you have to be really careful separate the infected birds from the rest so as I continue unfortunately Newcastle disease vaccines do not provide sterling immunity and in many areas of the world vaccines are used to prevent losses from sickness and death live lethogenic vaccines chiefly B1 and Lasota strains are widely used and uh, typically administered to poultry by mass application in drinking water or by spray so the vaccines are like chiefly B1 and uh, Lasota strains these are these are mostly put in uh, mass applications of water and uh, it can be wow. used by spray Sweet. but as I said the vaccine is not that strong if the bird comes in a lot of contact it will get infected so you have to be very careful to that in case if you notice some uh, symptoms that I mentioned one of the symptoms just put it down in the comment box and I'll be I'll be sure to help you out because uh, I have experience with this disease it's infected many of my birds and uh, currently I know how to go about it so like this pigeon it was infected I realized it that uh, it was infected before it did any harm so I got rid of it from the loft it's in a safe place and there's no treatment for this you all have to give the pigeon nice time for its time to come and uh, it's gonna die so that's all and I'm gonna be soon explaining more diseases of pigeons 
so make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video if it helped you and uh, any questions you can leave it on the comment box I'll be sure to help you out